For Home Star Progs, this is Joe Schuft and I got Mr. Sinclair on the phone. How are you, man? I'm good, I'm good. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm stoked about your new project. So let's begin from there. Let's talk about Supermatic, man. Supermatic, man. That's the uh, the new project. Uh, just getting it off the ground. Um, my partner in crime is uh, Callahan, um, or Cal, as we like to call him. And i um, known him for about a year or so, and uh, he's just an amazing uh, producer from France. And uh, we had a, a mutual friend who introduced us, and um, we just started writing some music. We got together, we talked about what we wanted to do, and uh, we both kind of shared the same vision on what we want this project to be, and we started writing some songs, and that's actually what we're currently in the process of doing as we speak. And uh, sound-wise, sonic-wise, what do you think you have this time around? What did, what, what did you create? Um, what we're trying to create with Supermanic is more of a rock uh, with some industrial attached to it. Uh, I've been getting some emails and you know some calls from people asking me about the project, and you know they're saying, "Oh, you know, is this a new industrial metal band?" Blah blah blah. And it's really not, man. It's um, you know I'm already a part of the quintessential industrial metal band ministry, so I didn't want to be just, you know, uh, or try to be a ministry part two. Um, so we kind of went more into the uh, our rock influences with Supermanic. Of course, it's going to have, you know, some some uh, uh, some electronics in there and that, uh, that, feed, that industrial feel, but overall, it's more of like a rock band, um, you know, with, uh, with some of these, uh, these modern uh, tones to it. Very cool. Hey, man, since you brought up ministry, definitely I want to say my condolences to you and everybody from the band because of, you know, we really see, recently lost Mike. I know, you know, for many years you guys, you know, he was in the fall. So why don't we talk about Mike, you know? I mean, obviously he's, he's going to be very missed. I'm sure you're very sad when you found out that he was, you know, no longer with us. Yes, man, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you for saying that. Um, it was a huge loss uh, to the uh, music community um, as a whole. And, you know, of course, to all the ministry fans and rigor mortis fans out there, Mikey was, uh, in my opinion, just such an underrated guitar player, um, you know, and just uh, such a super nice guy, uh, a real musician's musician, um, extremely talented, and he was, uh, you know, genuinely all about the music. That's all he cared about. Um, you know, he just uh, he didn't want any other BS uh, or didn't want to do any of the whole rock star, you know, um, crap that goes along with a lot with a lot of these guys that get into it. Um, he was strictly about the music, and we're all, you know, still feeling it, man. We're all still very sad about it, but we're all trying to stay positive and, you know, remember all the good times that we had with him. And we know that um, that he's looking down on us, and and you know, he's wanting us to just continue to kick ass, um, and uh, and that's what we're doing. You know, and uh, his name will, will live on forever in his music. Um, you know, I think there's a, um, there's a new Rigor Mortis album coming out that uh, he had been, you know, a part of. And um, also on the, um, I can now announce it, the new uh, ministry record. Oh, cool, cool. And uh, when is the new ministry coming? <laughs> That's very exciting, dude. Uh, yeah, man. Um, you know, we've been keeping it very hush. Um but uh, I announced it um, last weekend, I believe, or the weekend before last at the, uh, during the NAM convention at the uh, D. Snyder Roast. Um, I actually made the first public uh, announcement about the new ministry album, which is called From Beer to Eternity, and it will be out this upcoming June. And so most of the work is done as far as the recording process and production process, or where are you standing with that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All the all the recording of the record is already done. Um, it was uh, recorded by um, myself, Mike Skasha, uh, and Al Jorgensen. Um, you know, and that's what uh, we were doing out in El Paso um, a few months ago, <laughs> which we were trying to keep sort of uh, under wraps. Right, right. And, and also, just one thing before I forget. Sure, sure. Uh, Al also has a uh, his autobiography will be coming out in July. Oh, wow. So you guys are going to be very busy, man. Yeah, man. Very <laughs> excited. The new ministry is really, really fucking good, dude. Um, I think people are, are really going to um, be surprised with this uh, this new album. Um, it doesn't sound like the last three records. I think it's very original sounding, sort of breaking new ground, but at the same time kind of touching on, you know, a little bit more of the older classic uh you know, Filth Pig era, Psalm 69 era, 
that kind of stuff. And was Mike able to record all his parts before his, you know, his passing? Yes, he was. Um, so Mike, you will be on the new album. Um, you know, I feel very lucky and blessed to have written a couple of songs with Mikey in the studio in Texas. So that's like a really big thing for me, and I'm very proud of that. No, of course, of course. And back to Supermanic, do you have a set lineup for that project? As of right now, um, Charles uh, Callahan, Cal, and I are the writers, and we've got a couple guys in mind um, to round out the lineup on bass and on drums. But we're keeping that under wraps um, uh, until the next sort of uh, update and we announce the full lineup. Cool, cool. And the release date as well, I imagine? Yeah, it'll, we're hoping to have something out um, probably by the summer as well. Okay. But we'll be, we'll, we're going to keep updating um, on our uh, Facebook page. And also there'll be a video coming up on YouTube soon. Um, so we're really going to you know, try and... Um, push this, um, you know, with all the social media outlets, um, just to kind of let people know what we're up to, and, uh, and we'll be posting a full song um, once we reach, you know, a certain, I think a thousand likes on the Facebook page, and we're going to keep doing stuff like that just to kind of keep people, um, you know, interested, and um, coming back to our Facebook and YouTube and all those channels. Everybody knows your secret. Everybody knows you see